today we are going to be playing as daddy. Sorry, sorry, daddy. No, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Daddy? Today we are playing as the brand new survivor in Forged in the Fog, Vittorio Toscano, who brings with him three brand new perks. The first one is Potential Energy, which basically means that you can harness the power while working on a gen to then use it later on on a different gen. Fogwise, which means that if you hit a great skill check, you can see the killer for a little bit of time. And Quick Gambit, which means if you are chasing a generator, anybody working on that generator will receive a speed boost to their progress. And the thing that stands out to me more than anything else about this character, well, maybe not apart from his dashing good looks, is that all of his perks seem to be built around, and trigger warning for any killer mains out there, gen rushing and like off rip i'm kind of disappointed by that it would have been nice to have had a survivor with perks more focused on chases instead of just sitting on gens for survivors but i guess that is their objective so we can't really complain at the same time so today i want to test one of his perks specifically and see if it actually has the potential to contribute to gen rushing and that perk is potential energy i want to pair that with stakeout and fast track as well as a brand new part in a toolbox to see just how fast i can get a gen done once a couple of people have been hooked and once i've stored up 20 tokens from this perk and i'm also running windows of opportunity because we keep getting the brand new map and i'm fucking baffled by it i'm so confused so without much further ado let's get into it all righty then so the plan is to work on a gen for a little bit of time get my 20 tokens oh there he is there's the man with the big sword get my 20 tokens and then go and find another gen to work on and release my brand new part and the 20 tokens at the same time just to see how quickly we can progress a gen with this perk nice i wonder if it's annoying like loki to kind of be on this gen with me while i'm doing this <laughs> and like i'm doing nothing to contribute so we have 20 stacks now, we'll get this gen done, and then we're going to find another gen and release the brand new parts and the energy. The new killer's power is so interesting, like this thing running around and then you've kind of got to like dodge the circle. I think it kind of sucks that survivors can see the circle of, of uh, detection. I feel like survivors shouldn't be able to see that just to make it a little bit more difficult for us to actually dodge that power but at least it like blocks off an area for a little bit i guess okay i think this gen over here has not been touched i have six stacks of fast track i have 20 energy boost and i have a brand new part let's see if i can do this i missed the brand new part thing <laughs> but to be fair look at that we got to like 50 percent in what two seconds three seconds that's so quick i smell pennies oh what is that what is that oh i could have got that gen done as well bloody hell Oh my god, he's a mind gamer as well. What is that? Ring. 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 Don't stuck! Ring. Barrels. Fucking hell. <laughs> All right, well, I now have a friend to keep me company. That's good. How are you doing, sir? You seem to be having some difficulty. Do you not want to come and help? Like, we've been healing right in front of you this entire time. You, you've just been sat there. We do not care. I was playing as Killer the other day for, like, just some footage for a video I was doing. And, like, that really confused me every single time I looked up. Because I was like, how are people running on the roof? Like, how are people... How are there scratch marks up there? It baffled me every single time I saw it. They need to stop releasing, like, red things in maps. Because I get so confused. Okay, so he's brought his thing out. So if I bring mine out... The gen is just now not even getting progress. Look, we're technically working on the gen. There's no progress. <laughs> but like, say if he's got proof and I'm just sat here chilling on the gen and he's getting his his like store thing going on, I should still be able to run with that proof value and he should be able to store up his energy at the same time. This is why I think he's going to be a really good gen rushing character. What's he doing? Who's he chasing? Does he know who's chasing? I don't think he knows who's chasing. Oh, he wants him? Maybe he's more able. Yeah, he is. He's on death hook. Oh, all right. Let's take it. Let's take it. Come, come. Go, 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 go. No, I fucked that up so bad. No, no, no. That was so bad for me. Oh, no, I missed. Oh, shit. Wait, hold up. He's got starstruck. No, wait, wait. Okay, that was like such a fumble and I fucked it up in like every sense of the word. But hey, GG's. We got here. We got somebody out at least. All right, so for this game, I decided to take off Windows and put on Proof and see if I can get a bit more value out of that gen rushing ability. We've got to charge up our perk and then activate Doctor Strange. Beautiful. Has anybody else noticed as well that when it comes to survivors, they're just getting like weirder and weirder? Gone are the days when we just had Meg, who was just a track runner at high school or something, and Nia, who was just a graffiti artist. Now we have freaking Vittorio, who comes from the literal 13th century, 
We have Michaela, who's a witch. We have Hattie, who seems to have some sort of connection to the killers and to the realm. And now we have Doctor Strange. Pretty cool. Hey, bud. Hello there. Ah! Oh! No, my tokens, man. I was so confused. I was baffled. My man just dipped. Oh, I just... All right, well, there you go. You lose all your friggin' tokens. I was literally watching the assassin, just like so confused as to what was happening. And then here comes the knight to ruin my day. Look at that proof value. Look, look how fast it goes. Like, all right, let's pull out. I was imitating R2-D2 in my head, like going beep, boop, beep with the thing and completely missed the skill check. Oh, for the love of God, Aaron, pay attention. Okay, this is a brand new gen. All right, I'm going to just hop on this one and see how quickly I can get this done. Nice. I missed it again. Even so, though, look how fast that is. Holy shit. I, one of these days, I am going to hit the freaking great skill check and fully get my brand new part. That was so quick. Like, that was insanely quick. Am I being chased? I got you now. Ah, my man is chasing me. What the fuck is that? What? Ah, how can you not stun them? I can't. Uh, there's nothing for me to work with over here. Ah, there's a bloody knight as well. All right, spins. 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 Oh, f me sideways. The whole, like, extra night thing when, it, when they chase you. I, like, can you stun them? Do, do they not get stunned? Oh, what is going on? From what I remember when reading, they put down, like, a summon or something that you have to pick up. But, like, how am I meant to do that when the knight is also freaking chasing me? No, man. No, 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 no. Oh, fucking hell. Give me a skill check. Please give me a skill check. Please, for the love of God, give me a skill check. No. But I have fast track value. Oh. This game always does you dirty. Like, when you want to do something, it will work against you in every magnitude so that it will not happen. Holy shit, look at this. This is badass. Like a big-ass castle. Looks like, uh, this looks like Lord Farquaad's castle. <gasps> Confirmation of a future Shrek chapter right here. I mean, there's no way we get this, right? Yeah, you can just use these for camping. And it's kind of annoying, like, low-key that you can just... These two are injured, though. They need to, like, reset. Oh, but he just summons another one. There's like nothing we can do in that scenario. And now he's being hunted. And now she's dead. And, and now I'm going to get bopped on head. And it, uh, it's all just gone wrong really, hasn't it? Maybe I can take hits. I got it. 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 Yes, sir. Woo. All right. Well, we worked fairly well at the end to get them out. We just couldn't do anything about the Rebecca. Like it sucks that people can just use that power just to like hardcore camp. Oh. We actually didn't get the new map. That's kind of crazy. All right, so for this game, I ran out of brand new parts. So I figured we'd just go for like a bit of a chase build, a bit of a normal game. Uh, we're running Windows, Lithe, Boon, and then his new perk, Quick Gambit, just to see if like, if I am in chase, if I can get any... Oh, fucking hell, the, the, the ball of light is chasing me. Get it away, get it away. Uh, if, if uh, Yeah, anyway, what was I saying? I, I don't remember. Hello, buddy. Let's go have a chase, shall we? Oh. Look at these double backs. Like, what's he doing? All right, we can lure him here. Oh, no, we got WK away. No, bloody took my chase, Rebecca. What's wrong with you? You're not Rebecca. Who the heck are you, Cheryl? I don't know. I think my man is looping himself at Shaq. <laughs> He's looping himself at Shaq. Ah! Okay, I got too cocky. I got too cocky. I'm so sorry. Don't worry, bud. Please get out of the way, bud. Ooh. Oh, my God. Is she on me still? Oh, she's stuck in a pallet. Oh! Okay, we got to leg it away, though. What? Oh my god, that is terrifying. Get away, sir. Get away. Nice. I think I ran it. That's kind of terrifying. I can't lie. He's, he's, he's. I give up. That's it. <laughs> I don't think he's on me anymore. Low key, though, this killer is kind of hard to loop. It feels like another killer where you just have to W key away from him because if you're at a loop and he just runs his, his extra knight and just kind of tag teams you a little bit, then you've not really got much you can do because one can come from one side. And then one can come from the other. So, like, it, it loops like this. I'm kind of screwed. Oh, my God. <gasps> Big swings, buddy. Big swings. Oh, my God. Now the thing is after me. And see, this is what I mean. Now I'm being tag teamed. Ah. It's just kind of, like, really difficult to get that to work. Oh, bizarre. What do you mean? 
No, and now I'm being hunted. Uh, and there's like nothing I can do around these loops. It's such a difficult power to get to grips with in, in like running away from it. It feels like when the artist came out and we just had to kind of like W key away. It, it feels like the exact same thing with this killer. There's no real way to, to win at a loop like that. If both the knight and one of his cronies are on you at the same time. I got Beamer save? <laughs> no, no Beamer saves. I think he's a little bit confused. He's a little bit confused. Uh, bye bye. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh my god, that scared the living shit out of me. No, 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 why you could just phase through windows and shit? What has happened to your face? What the fuck was that? Did you guys hit? <laughs> Victorio did not look like daddy then. That thing? Is he some of the thing? Oh fuck me! Some of the thing. All right, I got life away. I got life away. I gotta run. I mean, like Loki though. Like life is really, really helpful for that. <laughs> All right, GGs. <laughs> I didn't like it. I didn't like the hunt thing. Those ghosts scare the shit out of me. It's because I don't know how they operate. And they're so just like relentless in their pursuit. Like it doesn't matter if anybody else is around them. They are going for you. And that is that. That's terrifying to me. It's like the film It Follows. And that will about do it for today's video. Overall, Vittorio seems really cool. He seems like a really interesting addition. I like his backstory, this kind of like 13th century character. I believe this makes him like the oldest survivor as well, which is also really cool. But yeah, it is a shame that his perks are essentially built around gen rushing and you know, with all of the stuff that's going on right now with the Dead by Daylight community, with gen rushing and tunneling being such like a big thing that's happening, it does suck that the developers are kind of pushing the gen rushing even more with these new perks but i guess again it is their objective so it makes sense to have perks that help them do their objective yeah like i don't want to get into that argument but from my perspective it does kind of suck to see those perks being brought into the game the knight also seems really cool like going against him seems actually fairly difficult if they use their cronies correctly to shut down loops it basically makes him another killer where you have to w key away from him i can see him being quite a hard killer to loop and quite a hard killer to to counter once people really start getting to grips with him let me know what you think of this new survivor and his perks in the comments thank you so much for watching guys i really appreciate all of the support i hope you have a fantastic day and if you're playing the ptb i hope you enjoy it but for now, yeah. I'll see you in the next one. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up. I never you know give I'm going to take, take, taking that crown from you. And yes, to everybody who was already asking me, Vittorio is a definite smash.